Good evening, sir. Hello, everyone. Please be seated. Uh, hello, guys. Hi, Shyam. Hi, sir. How are you sir. doing good? Yeah, go well. Doing good. And uh, this meeting we are gathered here for. Uh, previously, we have seen uh, one is case which is arranged from our university, um, which is located uh, southern North America, uh, which is one more another branch of our uh, university. Uh, as we have uh, the board, um, the new board member, uh, Miss Aksara. We welcome you, Aksara. Uh, Ms. Aksara, uh, please welcome you. We all know about Sweetwater State University, uh, but small intro about Sweetwater University for the new member of the uh, board, boardroom. At Sweetwater State University, we believe that education is, is the key to unlocking endless possibilities and empowering individuals to make a positive impact on the world. Established with the students, its vision to be center of academic excellence. Sweetwater State University offers a wide array of undergraduate and graduate programs across various disciplines. Whether you are pursuing a degree in the arts, science, business, engineering, or any other field, our faculty members who are experts in their respective domains are committed to providing you with a comprehensive education that combines the theory with the practical applications. We understand that the learning experience expands, expands beyond the classroom. That's why Sweetwater State University offers a vibrant campus life filled with diverse opportunities for involvement for personal development. At, Sweet, at Sweetwater State University, we strive for excellence in all aspects of education. We are proud of our diverse and inclusive community which celebrate different perspectives, cultures and backgrounds. Our commitment to fostering, fostering a welcoming environment ensures that every student feels valued, supported, and empowered to reach their full potential. Uh, this is what we call Sweetwater State University. Uh, this is what we are uh, doing for the students for the educational um, purpose. Like as previous meeting, we have seen the case uh, which is not yet to this, uh, which is not yet to concluded. Uh, so that we are here, uh, as earlier I said, uh, the rest of the summary, the case of the summary uh, is followed by the Mr. Siam. Sorry, Mr. Ram. Uh, please proceed. Thank you, sir. The previous uh, meeting summary is about, summary was about this. Uh, we have appointed new uh, vice president, Mr. Artisan, Mr. Sarkar. Then uh, the, the two kind of negatives are arrived. Uh, the, uh, the first two cases. Uh, we are using uh, the rapidian method uh, for uh, appraising uh, evaluation method. Uh, that method is uh, not accurate. Uh, sometimes the method is uh, good, sometimes the method is bad. So we are uh, find out the new method. So, so, we are, so we are going to find out the new method for appraising, uh, appraising evaluation. The, the, the next case is uh, we are going, uh, we, we are, we are uh, pressuring, uh, pressuring our employees. Uh, for targeting uh, our uh, goals. So, uh, uh, we have to consider about it. That's all our previous uh, summary. Uh, what is the case analysis for this? For the case, Ms. Aparna? Sir, we can briefly analyze the case. The job of Rob Witzer was a completely change the performance of our rating and system of our university. Because the previous system was dealing with the high staff turnover issues and also process didn't look just. The initial performance appraisal form was filled by the administrators and the administrators had to rate their secretaries on the basis of their job as well. The problem with this form was that the way administrators used to rate their strategy as excellent as to avoid staff turnover on the basis of the private sector and as the private was them better salaries on Sweetwater University. According to the results, the success of any performance appraisal system was directly related to the human beings given to them by the staff. In our case, the response was not good as from the side of the staff 
that doesn't create a good appraisal links between our university team and our staff section. So they didn't leave any choice for administrator but to give cross secretaries excellent to keep the job on site. And thus the administrators were not much interested in what their secretaries are getting done. So they start giving excellent as to much secretaries possible to give them away from leaving their job. With this thing, one or more came place the system that was letting even up to incompetent secretaries as to enjoy the benefits like increments and the salaries. This subsequently led to decrease in the overall quality of their work. The appraisal form completely lacked the procedure justice as no one checked that whether the giving rating are on performance or not. Also, the secretary given as a very good rating, it's really both or not. Lack of transparency and the system was as the basic flow in the system. This flow lead to another problem with unclear standards. The form of only consistence of four levels, which then had also traits on the secretary's work to be more consistent. The given standard black by every person, like good can be previewed by someone and just not to excel it. But any other person might perceive as just better than fair. By competition among secretaries, jealously and race will reduce the efficiency of their staffs. The new appraisal system created by the experts and advised by our team, then this idea might be good when the appraisal system is not such efficient. But salary might be a big motivational force by every working employees. If the secretaries will never give the salary high for doing a good work, then their interest of working might be get affected by their efficiency. And it will be reduce the working capacity of our human beings. The new form created by experts such as giving the points to secretaries on different criteria, this might turn out to be a good scoring of a performance appraisal of, a com of our company and we introduce the vice president minister which has been given the task of creating a new performance appraisal system for the secretarial and clerical staff of Sacred University and the sta standards presently being as an unclear and do not give a good review of our job and to be performed. And the experts have recommended that now more detailed ratings form has been scheduled. This means the job schedules have been analyzed. So the different aspects of our work done by the secretaries are assessed by a good manner, such as a communication speed and a typing speed, quality of the job done by every person, initiative by the secretaries creativity, integrity and teamwork are creatively that as per new norms. That's about our case, sir. Thank you, uh, As our company, you both, you all are the HRs, so you have to answer for, uh, I have some questions. So, do you think the experts' recommendations will be, will be sufficient to get most of the administrators to fill out the rating forms properly? Why or why not? What additional actions do you think will be necessary? Anyone can answer for my doubt? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So, good afternoon. good afternoon to everyone. No, I think expert recommendation will not be sufficient to get most of the administrative forms and properly uh, because uh, the administration might be by all the combines. This will not improve the ability and skill of everyone. A few administration wants to be unproper to the subordinate and, and he will hesitate to write the marks. I think the following additional action will be necessary. Number one, manager may have such communication. Number two, teamwork. Number three, quality. And another option is the performance based on the job and actual duties. So um, they, they should provide a performance appraisal software so that the administrator can only put their data and authority can only find the ultimate total score and can easily avoid it. In the order, for the recommendation to be accepted and practiced, Mr. Winchester will, will need to educate the administration on the new process why it is necessary to provide the training. To improve the administration appraisal skill and monitor effectively of the new appraisal form. To ensure that, that they are operating in a manner that aside in the success of organization goal. In order to 
optimize the technique to be effective administration must be made by aware of optimizer problems that exist during the problem processing. According to the research, if the people understand and believe in the program and see to helping themselves to accomplish their own goals and diaries to desire the organization goal, they will use it feel comfortable. Thank you, Ms. Uh, Ms. Akshara, who you must aware about this case so that uh, I have on doubt. Can you uh, can you clear that? Okay. Do you think that Vice President Winchester would be better off dropping graphic rating forms, substituting instead of one other techniques we discuss in this chapter, <coughs> such as a ranking method? Why? Just because using graphic rating forms has several problems such as unclear standards, hollow fit, central tendency, gene entry, biases. Instead, the ranking method is much better to get the desired result. Because in this system, employees are ranked from best to worst on a particular trial. Alternation ranking method avoids central tendency. Rob Winchester decided to put a hold on um, um, number of secretaries, getting anything above average. This new course ranking system was done because administrators were very lenient in ranking their staff. But course ranking system is very strict and it is unfair for those who have a very good staff. New course ranking method might create a very unhealthy cutthroat competition among staff and it will, the, it will damage the distributive fairness in the system. This distribution of the budget of appraisal should be uh, fair to keep the staff satisfied. Staff satisfaction is a big criterion for any organization. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mr. One more, one more question, you all. Can anyone um, clarify that? What performance appraisal system would you develop for the secretaries if you were Rob Winchester? Different your answer. Yes, sir. So the main objective of the performance appraisal system is develop the good performance from the employees and rise to production. Using a production appraisal system allows employees to see the level they are working and the managers are able to inform the from employees so they can help make their jobs more successful. The appraisal system should be consistent throughout the whole process in the consistent timely manner. There are several types of appraisal. Some examples include essay standardization scales, using of critical incidents, management by objectives. It is always better to pick the right format of your organization. During an appraisal system, the employees evaluated on job performance and its thrown to improve job performance and show any areas that are need to improve on them. These goals should be achievable goals as well as goals being adjusted to meet the needs of individual employees so that there are the better chance of the employee achieving their goals. Should be some sort of the reward systems placed following these appraisals for the employees that have exponential performance or that have really shown improvement. This will help the employees try to achieve their goals in the manner in which they also can be proud of their sales. See themselves grow to decline in their job performance and be involved a great deal more the whole process in their system. That is oh, great, Mr. Shyam. Mr. Shyam, uh, your valuable insights. Uh, for this case study, uh, we have come to a uh, conclude that is, in this case, the appraiser must deeply understand the job requirements. Am I right? The appraiser will check on the list if he believes that employees process the listed trade by checking uh, yes or no against each trade. This is what we have con concluded. Uh, now the another Sweetwater University which is case uh, from there, they have to focus on these conclude. Uh, this in this case we have to know this conclude we have to focus and uh, that the no must be uh, cases will will not be arise in our company, in our university. Uh, this is what we all know that. Thank you.